Funnel once again doing another mixing tip video for Cloudbounce. Today I wanted to be talking about compressing versus limiting your song. Why versus? Well, these are two totally different things, but still seems that some producers every now and then seem, seem to confuse these two and the result will be pretty bad. What do I mean by this? Well, on every music forum ever, every music group on Facebook, every now and then somebody will be asking, how do I make my song loud? I don't understand it. And I swear within the first five or 10 replies, there will be somebody saying, you have to compress your song, which is not really true when you want to make it loud. So, I will be demonstrating the use of a limiter and a compressor today, real quick. I will be going into compression in more detail later on, but for now, let's take a quick look at what the compressor does. The compressor here is Kotelnikov by Tokyo Dawn. Let's actually listen to the loop. I'm gonna bypass the compressor. I think the snare is a little pokey. It comes through a little too loud, I think. And compressor is your friend here because compressor is a dynamic tool that helps you squeeze the song or the signal a little bit. Well, you can totally destroy it if you wish, but it, when dealing with the song, you usually just even out the dynamic variation a little bit. So let's do a little on and off comparison here. Without it, with it. Whoops. You should be hearing how the snare gets pushed down a little bit. I will be going into compression in more detail in a later episode, but for now, I just wanted to show that this is what compressor does. You cannot really use a compressor to put, make it louder. It's for evening out the dynamic variation a little bit. Some, co some people call it glue, which is an okay word to describe compression or what it does. But if you want to make your song loud, you're gonna need a limiter. This one here is by Vlad G, limiter number six. So if I wanted to make this song loud, I would crank up the gain here. When you crank up the gain in a limiter, essentially it will push the level up, but instead of pushing the peaks down like a compressor does, a limiter will just cut them off. <laughs> What, dude? Seriously? Nah. What you just described is clipping. Clipping will chop the peaks off, brah. But a limiter will actually push them down in a very, very quick fashion. And in limiters, that's optimized, so you cannot control that. So a clipper will chop them off, but a limiter will push them down very, very quickly. Now, get on with it. Like, when the level reaches the ceiling, it will chop off the peaks. And that will make it louder. Let's push up the level. So there it is, in a nutshell. The difference between a limiter and a compressor. A compressor will even out the signal variation a little bit, but limiter is the one that will push the level up and chop off the peaks so you can actually make it fit inside the available audio space and not destroy the level. So, compressor, limiter, that's it. I will be going into compression details later on in another episode, but for now, I hope this was somehow useful. And if you have any questions, just ask me and we'll be hitting you back. If this is your thing, 
just make sure to subscribe to Cloudbound's YouTube channel. And till the next time.